Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Committee Corner. I'm Stephanie Hamilton, Government Relations and Advocacy Manager for NSPE, and I will be your host for Episode 3. For Episode 3 of Committee Corner, we're talking about the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee. Environment and Public Works Committee is a mouthful, so to keep it simple, I'm going to refer to it as EPW. First, some general information that I pulled from the Senate website. The chair of EPW is Senator Tom Carper of Delaware. The ranking member is Senator Shelley Mora Capito of West Virginia. As you can see, EPW has four subcommittees, each of which has jurisdiction over specific policy areas. EPW has jurisdiction over several policy areas that are relevant to NSPE members including construction and maintenance of highways, flood control and improvements of rivers and harbors, non-military environmental regulation and control of nuclear energy, public works, bridges and dams, and solid waste disposal and recycling. On March 24th, the full committee met for a combined hearing and markup. During the hearing portion, the EPW voted on two nominations, Brenda Malloy as chair of the White House Council on Environmental Quality, and Janet McCabe as the deputy administrator of the EPA. During the markup portion, it discussed Senate Bill 914, which we'll cover in more detail in just a moment. But before we talk about S914, let's talk a little bit about the difference between a committee hearing and a committee markup. All committees in both the House and the Senate hold both hearings and markups. And each of these meetings serves a unique purpose. A hearing is a meeting that's used by a committee to hold general policy discussions, debate the merits of specific legislation, and for the Senate to debate and vote on administration nominees. A markup is used for the sole purpose of amending and voting on specific legislation. Despite the fact that committee hearings get most of the attention in the media, the fact is that the markups are where the substantive work happens, and it's also where we have the most opportunity to influence legislative language. As I mentioned before, one purpose of EPW's March 24th meeting was to hold a markup for S914, the Drinking Water and Wastewater Infrastructure Act of 2021. So what is S914? As the name indicates, it's a bill that authorizes programs and funding for drinking and wastewater infrastructure. It's almost 100 pages long, so I won't go into great detail about the contents, but here are some of the highlights. Among other things, S914 authorizes funding for programs in the Safe Drinking Water Act and the Federal Water Pollution Control Act. It also establishes programs that direct services and funding to low-income and underserved communities. The markup portion of the March 24th meeting was pretty short. A few committee members commented about specific provisions of the bill, but after about 15 minutes, the entire EPW committee voted to report S914 favorably out of committee. Now, what it means when a committee reports a bill favorably is the committee is saying that it supports the bill's language and it recommends that the full Senate support it as well. EPW has a strong history of bipartisanship, so the unanimous approval of S914 wasn't a surprise, but it was a welcome relief to have it voted out of committee, and the strong support from the committee gives it a really strong chance of also being passed out of the Senate. In fact, on April 14th, the committee voted again to affirm its support of S914, and in a press release dated April 15th, Senate, Major Senate Majority Leader, excuse me, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said he expects the bill to be voted on by the full Senate in the next couple of weeks. And there you have it, a brief look at the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee. Thanks so much for tuning in. And as always, if you have questions about advocacy, legislative processes, or specific bills, feel free to reach out to us and we'll do our best to answer your questions. Thanks again.